In today's video, I'm going to show you how to share a password on your iPhone. The first method of sharing a password on your iPhone is simply by copying and pasting the details. To do this, we first need to access our passwords by opening the Passwords app, and you need to unlock it with your Face ID or iPhone passcode. Once you've done this, you want to click on the search bar at the very top, and you want to search for the password you want to share. Once we've found the password, you want to click into it, and here you will see the password details. Now you simply want to click on the piece of information you want to copy, and then you want to click on copy password or copy username etc and then you simply want to paste it to the person you want to share it with. Just bear in mind that this is the most insecure way of sharing a password so I recommend using the other methods I'm about to show you. The second way of sharing a password on iPhone is by using AirDrop with other Apple devices. To do this again you want to open the passwords application and again you want to go ahead and search for the password you want to share. Once you've found the password you want to click into it and here you'll see the details. Now you want to click on the airdrop icon in the top right hand corner next to the edit button and then it will require Face ID to open the airdrop option. When the airdrop tab opens it should scan for everyone that's nearby and list them here. However I don't have any Apple devices nearby apart from my own MacBook Air. Just bear in mind that this password information will not be synced so if you change your password it will not update on their end. So I'll show you another method on how to share passwords. The third way of sharing a password on your iPhone is by creating a shared group. So to do this you want to open the passwords app yet again and then you want to create a share group by clicking on new share group. Once you've selected this option you want to give it a name so I'm going to call it example and then you want to click on add people. Now you want to go ahead and search for anyone on your contacts list and bear in mind you will need to have their Apple ID email address attached to that contact in order to share passwords. They will also need to be using an iPhone and it will need to be updated to iOS 18.0 or later. So once you've chosen everyone you want to add to the group, you want to click on add and then you'll see a list of all of the contacts you have just added. So you want to click on create. Now we will be prompted to add passwords to that group. So you can either select them from this list here or we can do that later, which is what I'm going to show you now. You'll also have the option to notify them that you've added them to a password group via messages. However, in this example, I'm going to select not now. Now we've created a password group, I'm going to show you how to add passwords. So to do this, you want to go back to the main password screen. And again, you want to go ahead and search for a password that you want to add. Once you've found it, you want to click into it. And where you see the passwords detail, it should say group. And you want to click on the drop down menu next to it. And you want to select a group you want to share that password with. So in this example, I'm going to choose example. You will receive this prompt informing you that moving a password to a shared group will allow all participants to view, edit or delete at any time. So once you're ready, you want to click on move to group. So to access it, if we go back to the home screen of our password app and we click on the example group we just created, you'll see a list of all of the passwords that are now being shared in real time. So if you edit this password, it will also update on their end and they'll be able to log in using the new details. And that's it. So if this video is helpful, please leave a like. And if you have any questions or comments, you can leave them below.